All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. JC Breezy has another question for us. What's up, JC? B? Uh, well, the next big question is people want to uh, know about animals. All the other. Oh, man. Sides. That is a loaded question. It's a big question. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at animals. Uh, we need to find. We're going to build a couple pens. So let's go find some nice land here. Um, so we have the. We'll, go, we'll do a small cow enclosure. I'm not going to do the big one. We'll just, we just need the small one. And we're going to put that right here. Uh, I don't think so, Will. I think once you deform the terrain on the map, it saves it. Um, you'd have to start the game over. Yeah, I've heard that the wipers turn on. Uh, map collides with an object. We have these bales all over the field. Yep. I'm not going to be real fancy about this, but we could try to put this over here. Um, and we'll we'll stick it out a little bit so that it's over the, the cliff. Can't be placed here. And we need to look at our menu here. You'll see the prices change. We can set it there. Why is the F1 not showing, though? <laughs> John, it's okay. That's what the fields are for. We buy them so we can plant stuff. Boom. Oh, so it's $100,000, but we paid $293,000 because we had to get it on flat terrain. I don't know why it wasn't sure. I think you have to have this menu open first before you do it um, to see what the price is. I didn't have it open, and I couldn't open it once I tried to, to do it. So if you need to see exactly how much you're doing it... Um, but you can see it kind of flattened out the terrain here a little bit. I wanted to put it as close to the edge as possible, but it does require some flat land. Um, but it has flattened the top of the terrain here, and you can see here the field has a little bit of a pitch now. I have not tried the log thing yet. <laughs> um, so once again, though, one question at a time, folks. We're going to deal with this for a little bit. So, suburb farm. All right, so we're good there, uh, and so we have all the different stuff. This is what it looks like, and it looks good. So... Now we need to run over to the, um, uh, I don't know if you want to get some of these small questions, JC, while we're going. Um, I did not get Evelyn her cookies. I forgot when I went to the store and she didn't care. <laughs> we're going to go buy some cows. Right. Oh, I would never, I can't even afford to walk away with that. So, uh, animal pens. Yeah. When, when the mods yeah. start coming out, this is going to make this game skyrocket in possibility. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so there's... We could get brown, brown and white, black, black and white, Brahmin, white Brahmin. <laughs> A lot of different cow options. John, what are you doing, boy? How many cows can I buy? Was it 50? I'm just going to buy as many as I possibly can. Black cows... Pen capacity. Okay. Confirmed. So now we have cows at the farm. All they do is moo. <laughs> no Highlander cows? No. Yes, yeah, so you can play with the mouse. Yeah, I'm, That's what I'm thinking. It probably, and it just started like the other day. Oh my gosh. Man, there's a lot of cows in there. They're going to be unhappy real fast. A uh, logo. No, the grass does not go through vehicles anymore they fix that glitch does it no they do it does it still goes through vehicles it does the grass does yes oh uh, case in point at least it was for the john deere gator hmm uh, let's see i'll try to make it happen if not we'll go in the gator and see maybe they fixed it over nope see yeah it's there it is i don't know if you guys saw it it's still going through the vehicles that bush went through the vehicles and there's grass grass hmm. Not much there, though, but it does happen. The, if the vehicle's shorter, though, the grass does still go through the vehicles. So, sorry. I didn't mean to bust the JC bubble, but <laughs> it it's broken. All right, so we're going to go down and grab some. Um, yes, it is cheaper if you use your own trailer. I think there's like a $500 or $50 fee per cow or something like that. It is cheaper. I don't, they don't, I didn't really see that on the menu. Like, oh, by the way, this is how much it costs. They didn't say much, but yes, it does cost more to, to haul them here. Or to, to buy them without hauling them yourself. So You can have up to 10 pastures for each animal type. So, yes. 
You can be used up a lot of land doing it that way, but yes, you can. Um, oh no, so you can't do hay anymore. Ah! I guess that's good because it's realistic. But that makes my life a bit more of a pain in the arse. Oh no. So that's okay, we'll just find some grass and mow it. Um, not a big deal. Um, and we need to pick up some kind of cool front loader. So that's where the milk comes from. This is sounding more like an anatomy video. And this is the... <laughs> this is the water, right? No, that's not the water. Where's water? Hmm. Mm. I mean, that looks like water, but it's not. Oh, there it is. Over here. Okay. And once again, it takes me a while to figure some of this stuff out. I'm not the... I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I hate that song. Uh... Moo. Look at all those cows. They're unhappy right now. That is a packed pen. Hey, Ev. Oh, Violet. Oh, too late. I was going to say my mom's calling. But... So the cows have some water. That's good. Let's see if that, let's see what they look like. Uh, they have red water, but it's good. Um, all right, so we'll pack this out here. We need to give them straw. I'm going to see if we can load. I'm going to see if we can hand load the bales. Somebody said you can load them in there. Oh, wait a minute, though. Uh, let me try to drop. That's right. Let me try one more thing, because I forgot. You actually have to drop the bale off the fork, so let's try it. Um, it could be a fuel issue. It could be... Um, and it, it came on all of a sudden. The car was running great, and then all of a sudden, like, boom, it was terrible. And it, I don't... So I, something failed somewhere. Could be maybe it needs new new uh, spark plugs, but it's not something that came slowly. Do you have a check engine light? Uh, on? yeah, yeah, the check engine light came on and went back off and then came on again and then went back off. Mm. It's been on twice since it started doing it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Fleetfoot, yeah, it, that's real life. <laughs> nope, so even setting the bale down, it's still not, it's still not going into the, pa the pen. Uh, you're just gonna have to do it by... Yeah, it could be a bad ignition coil. I'm thinking something with the spark plugs or the electrics, because also... When it's doing it, the lights flicker. So as it's like, boom, 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 the lights are like dark light, dark light, dark light. The, the, the lights are flickering too. So I think it's something to do with the electrics. Yeah, that's true. All it takes is a day, right? It could be a sensor. Uh, but like I said, it's running like crap. The light's off right now. I'm going to take it to the Kia dealership though and just go, hey, look, you know, what do I do? And then get a second opinion somewhere else. I'm gonna see if my friend. Uh, actually, my friend does it too. I'm gonna see if he can. He can check it, take a look at it. But all right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, no, it's that we don't really have diesel cars here. Um, we have diesel pickups and stuff, but there are almost no diesel cars. They're really. Uh, you said in real life the W key sticks a lot. <laughs> the pause kicks in. I hope so. I hope that's all it is. Is like a voltage regulator or something like that. Oh my gosh! If you, if B dog, if you put sugar in your tank, doesn't that like ruin the engine? Like it's done, right? Yep, I'm gonna. I can get this. I'm gonna, I, I may do that too. I might just take it to AutoZone tomorrow and get it looked at. We'll see, or or Monday or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, our AutoZone does have a free diagnostic, so I will probably just do that. Let's grab the JCB. Oh, I need to drop that bale first. Drop the bale, and we'll move forward, and then we're going to drop drop the bale maker. I know we've made a mess. I'm just trying to do this quickly. It's going to take. It's still going to take a little while because there's a lot to do. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's just something stupid like spark plugs, you know. I have to get a plug wrench. <laughs> I don't have a plug wrench. Get in the zone, do do do, auto zone. Don't you have to like gap them and stuff though? Is that pretty easy to do? That's the slurry right there. Oh, so somebody was asking where the slurry and the manure are. That's where they are right there. The the pen is for the the manure that surround, and then this little like water tank looking thing that is the uh, slurry. So, what's up, that Redmond boy? Long time no see. Um, I'm gonna a turn on mixer wagon. 
Can we dump it? Nope. No dump there. Actually, it's on the other side, too. I need to turn around. And do you have an option to change some? Yes, I'm not feeding him right now, Lone Star. I am going to give them the straw. That's what we're doing right now. So the the ration is completely wrong. You're correct. I'm not making cow food right now. I'm just making uh, um, straw. I hope it's not clogged fuel injectors, but it could be. I know it's it, one of the one of the things about this car is that it's uh, one of those weird. Uh, it's a GDI, but the fact that it happens so fast. Most plugs are pre-gapped. Okay. No, you don't have to muck out the manure. It's automatic. No, that's not the place. Man, I hope one of these places is the place. Otherwise, we may not be able to use this. We might we, we might really have to use a blower to do it, which sucks. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, that sucks. It's not triggering it, so. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, yeah. So this is the load spot. Um. There you go. So the way that you can you can use this without using the blower. Anything that chops up the straw from the bale state, it counts. So right now, if we look at the animals, we are adding uh, straw into their pen right there. You can see that going. 4,000 will go in or more. But well, we put two bales in, so 8,000 will go in. So there you go. That's how you do straw without... If you have a, a cows and you've got this feeding machine, that's how you make the straw go in the pen without doing it. So... Boop. Okay, there's one. That's grass, and this is hay. So let's see. It should show us the hay thing. Oh, the Strautman. Okay, so we have the hay here. I mean, the, yeah, hay. Hey, hey, hey. Boop. And there we go. We should be good. Let's check the mix. Uh, we currently have... Ah, oh, TMR. Ting. TMI, no, TMR, Total Mixed Ration. Oh, that's so funny. It's me, Gordy. Yeah, I have a lot of people that I that either go one way or the other. Like, I play one game, and so people start playing it because they like it. I introduce people to new cool games. There we go. Total Mixed Ration. Is it going to unload? Yep. Didn't you, didn't you use the same bales last time? No, I added straw last time. And it oh. made it. It made it into uh, uh, forage instead of TMR. Forage, okay. Forage is not accepted. It used to be, but it's not accepted anymore. Oh, black chicken. That's right. Uh, we can try to deliver milk. Yes, uh, I'm actually going to speed up time, um, and the cow should be at least have enough food to get milk. We won't have 100 percent production, but there we go. I'll just keep throwing food in there while the night goes by so we get milk. They're saying... Uh, oh, the here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Game. Okay, there it is. All right. So the port grain elevator, we'll do that. This seems like a good spot. <laughs> just because. Oh, it's close. Yay. The problem more is that I'm trying to read and do this at the same time. Okay, so you sell milk here. Come on, right button and Y. There we go. Selling the milk. 3,000 was how much money? We'll find out in a sec. 3,500. So it's about a dollar a liter. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I know. What else would you do to it? I just wonder. Okay, there we go, guys. So that is, I think, the end of the stream for tonight. I am beat. Uh, and so we did deliver some milk. We've got to play with the cows a little bit. Hopefully answer some questions for you guys. Oh, you can. Uh, 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 look at that. We can put belts on that. So this can carry stuff. I don't know why you'd want to put stuff on here, but you can. That's pretty cool. So there you go. There's one question. And the last question is what tippers allow you to attach to each other? Um, this one does. This one does. This one does, this one does, this one does, um, this one doesn't, this one doesn't, this one doesn't, that one doesn't, that one doesn't, that one doesn't, nope, nope, 
Nope, nope, nope, and nope. So just the first couple ones do. Uh, up to here, yes. After that, no. There you go. All right, guys. Have a great night, and we will see you next time. The train does pass sort of close to the shop, so you could put stuff on the train and then deliver it to a farm somewhere. So anyway, have a great night, guys, and we will see you next time. I am going to rest. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>